Hey everybody, today is going to be a quick review of conditionals. My name is Elizabeth and I'll take you through all of it. Okay, let's say you and your friend want to go to a concert on Saturday, but they want to double check to see if you're going. First, we're going to have your friend ask, are you still going? Then, we're going to give specific responses based on your yes response or your no response. So, simple enough, puts, hey, are you going to the concert? And then we stay, save your answer. There we go. Now for the yes response and no response, our conditionals. So, if our variable answer double equals, because that's for comparing, the string yes, then we have our friend's happy response. Awesome. I'll see you there. Then we have our no response. So instead of adding another conditional, well, adding another if, we can add an else, because that's the only other option. So else, our friend will be kind of disappointed. There we go. Don't forget the end. So we have our if and our else's. Conditionals being used simplistically. But now we can add some more things. Let's say that you may have a chance of luck that your friend has an extra ticket to this concert you want to go to. So let's create the variable lucky and set it equal to three. We can throw an else if in between this if and else add another conditional or another option or choice for our friend to output. So let's have a rand or a randomizer. The rand gives us essentially a random number. It's exactly what its name sounds like. It gives us a random number so the answer won't always be the same and it'll have different outcomes. So else if rand5 Then we can have our puts be our friend will definitely puts well, lucky for you, I have extra tickets. And there we go. So that's how we're able to use conditionals in our code. Thanks for watching.